Oh yes, it's nice and warm in Helsinki today. This morning, no wind, sea is calm. It's just a beautiful morning. And I'm here at the place that you might recognize. I was here doing the 17 millimeter lens tests a couple of months ago. And now I have something different. I have one of these. Before I start talking about the lens that I have in my phone here, I have to say that this lens was sent to me and it's not mine. And Sanmark did not ask me to do this video, but since I'm a big lover of uh, mobile photography, I decided that this might be a good video for my channel. Uh, because personally, I'm very interested in all different kinds of uh, lenses and stuff that you can put on your mobile phone or different apps that you can use to make your photography better. So that's why I made this for, my, for this channel. Sunmark sent me this lens and a polarizer filter and then two different clips which I have. I have them here. In a box. Let's put it back. Oh, that's the pouch. Oh, damn it. I'm throwing them around. It's one of these. And then one of these where you can which you can attach the polarizer with a clip to your phone like this and then there was the case where i can turn this and screw this on on the phone so this is what they sent me and stick around to find out how this lens performs but let's uh, talk about mobile photography for a while sorry about that and uh, where was i yeah about the the uh, way of people uh, making images of they share it a lot and they want to share their lives and uh, one good thing about that is that people are starting to think about photography as a way of expressing things and that's why I think it's a good thing that people are making images because they start thinking about imaging and ph photography in a totally a different way because it's it's uh, so they might understand the professional work also because of course if you want to tell a story with your photograph it's the same thing when people are making images with their mobile phones they they're telling a story okay i ate this stuff today and this is my plate and this is my outfit this is my this and this is my this this is what i look like today and all that i don't really take that much selfies but i think it's a part of part of a certain younger generation's culture and i think it's it's totally fine and great that people are telling stories through their images and also the computational imaging is really interesting thing for me like the bokeh effect that you can do with your phones uh, and for most people that is a really revolutionary thing they can make nice blur blurred backgrounds in their in their portraits for example with a phone of course it doesn't look the same as done with the real camera with the real optical way of doing the bokeh but uh, with the mobile phones they can do and, and the computational imaging and the artificial intelligence and all that that's uh, a big thing in mobile phones and I think all those are really interesting and great things for photography. This lens that Sandmark sent me is a wide-angle lens it says that it's 0.56 times wider I couldn't find the focal length of the iPhone X uh, wide-angle lens but this makes it a lot lot wider as you can see from these two pictures it's a big difference and I'm not a really a wide-angle guy but sometimes my uh, wide-angle shots are not wide enough for me for when I do imaging with my, my with my phone so this one comes really handy to get that a bit of a wider angle if you if if needed there are two ways of attaching this to your phone the first one is with the case where you just screw it on and you can get the case or you can and you can get this separately from from Sanmark and it's whoops quite handy I was saying but it has to be exact okay here we go now we can see that or then there is a clamp which is another way of doing it let's see how this goes you screw it on the on a clamp and then you will set the lens so that it's perfectly in front of the lens and the good thing is that this can be used with any phone it's really fast and easy you can have this in your bag and then just clap it on and take your image and then the good thing is that you can have 
whatever case on your phone because this case is, is really slim and nice but the problem with this case is that if you drop your phone most likely it will crack the, the, the screen. I normally use another case which I can be sure of that if I drop the phone it won't break so this might be more useful for me. But what about the image quality? Because that's of course a very important thing. The mobile phones of today, all the modern models can make stunning images or record stunning images. But uh, does this affect the image quality? Let's find out and look at the images that I took yesterday. This clip, this part of the video is filmed with my iPhone X with Filmic Pro app and also with the Sandmark lens on it, with the polarizer filter on it. And as you probably saw, the image quality was quite good. Not bad barrel distortion or vignetting or anything like that. And I'm very pleased, pleased with the quality of this lens. It's actually also very well made. It's, it's really sturdy and doesn't look like a cheap plastic thing. It's, it's a really a top class lens for, for what I think at least. To be honest, I haven't really tested any other uh, brand of these kind of lenses, so there is no comparison. So this picture is from yesterday, from a different place, when I was testing this and walking around Helsinki. And uh, as you can see on this image, the bokeh, if you can talk about bokeh with the, with the wide-angle lens on a phone, but uh, when, when focusing really close, you can see that the, there is some background blur, but the bokeh looks a bit strange to my eye. And, that is something that uh, maybe doesn't look that pleasing, but uh, in most cases that's not a big problem because you don't really have bokeh on, on mobile phone pictures. And on this clip you can see how the polarizer makes the sky a lot darker. As you can see how it gets dark when I'm turning the polarizer, it gets really dark. Oh, look at the birds flying quite. It gets really dark and then you turn it around. This is really dark and this is something very useful what you can do with your uh, polarizer. Before I make a conclusion of this interesting lens, let's look at some images first. Okay, we're back here. And one thing before the conclusion. If you're still here, please consider to subscribe to my channel and hit that bell so you get notified when there is a new video online. My channel is all about you getting to be a better photographer. And remember, I post two, two videos a week, on Tuesdays and on Fridays. And that, now, let's conclude my thoughts on this. I think this is very well made and a very good addition and it adds a lots and lots of wide angle view to your iPhone or any other phone, which I think it's really great if you, if you really need that wide angle thing, I can recommend this. And then you can attach filters to it. Of course, the polarizer is one. Maybe there are ND filters that you could put on this one for video work or, or just for those long exposure images. And the image quality was very good. No, not bad vignetting or barrel distortion. And all in all, I'm very happy with the, with the Sunmark wide angle 0.56x lens that I can attach to my phone with two different ways. That's also a good thing that you have the cases and then you have the clip and I think that's, that's a really good thing. And then also there was the additional clip for, for filters if you don't want to use the lens. And one thing that I did not mention is that you have to screw it on the outer side of your iPhone. I can't say anything about uh, Android phones or other iPhones, but on the iPhone X, if I screw it on this one, it, the image is all totally black. So remember to do that. So that, that's kind of a, maybe a bad thing, but to be honest, I really don't know how these work. And, uh, is if, if there is a one telephoto lens, oh, I know there are telephoto lenses also by Sandmark, but if you can attach it from here or, or to this other, other, other place or the other lens, which is the telephoto lens. And uh, yes, all in all, I'm very happy with this lens. So thanks Sandmark for letting me test this. And, and as I said in the beginning, they sent me this lens and I will keep it and use it, but they don't pay me or nor did they ask me to do this video. I just wanted to do because I think it's a fun lens. But hey, thanks for watching and bye for now.